Hey, my name is Pierre Garçon, and my mind's on sports. Hey, this is Chris Baker, and my mind is on sports, baby. Swaggy time, check it out. Hey, you guys. Not a lot of production from the starters. The bench was amazing tonight. I think they had like 65 points. Just for you, what is that like knowing that they're, they're ready at that level each and every night? Um, you know, just to cut your first statement short, you know, there was production from, from, the, first, from the first unit. Um, we go out there, we set the tone as far as how hard we're working and everything. The second unit, that's what they've been doing all season long. Um, it's no shocker for us who's on the team with them. We see their work ethic. We see what they do um, after practice. Uh, Shavante Zellis really leads that group and making sure that she holds all of them accountable for what their role is and what they have to do, you know, when Tanisha Wright comes out, you know, when Sugar Rogers comes out, when myself comes out. And I think uh, Kia Stokes, I think Beck Allen and, and Z, especially, and Brittany Boyd, they did a great job attacking, follow, fo finding their rhythm, and especially on the defensive end. And, it's a game of runs. Washington made a couple there. Mm -hmm. You guys seem to always respond. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to talk about your team's ability to respond. So you step out, you know, extend your range a little bit, hit a couple, hit a three. Mm -hmm. Some of your other bigs as well just got this. And that, uh, in that area. Yeah, and, and that's exactly what you had said. You know, basketball is a game of runs. You know, we can't we can't let that get us down. And, and I don't think we've been I don't think we've done that all season. So for us, responding is all we know. You know, as in the first quarter, I think they were up by like 15 or 16. You know, we didn't let that get us down. We've been in positions like that and grinding out wins. You know, especially in the fourth quarters with that deficit. So I think just having confidence in ourselves and what we've been able to do in the past is the reason why you saw us do what we did tonight. Do you feel like this year, you guys are always contending, always a pretty good team. Do you feel like this year is a little bit different than some of the past years? Yeah, it is a, it is a little bit different, um, especially last year. You know, not having Epiphany Prince, it forces a lot of people to have to step up in their role. And I think out of everyone on the team that has done that, definitely Sugar Rogers. You know, she's definitely my most improved player. Um, just being the second go-to for this team, demanding a lot of attention, which opens up a lot of things for everyone else on this team. So, um, yeah, for sure. I know you've been asked about this a lot, just with the WNBA, a lot of your players stepping up and lending your voice to some of the issues going around in the country. Um, Natasha Cloud was just talking about that. You know, it's just a place where you guys don't want to be silent anymore. You want to make sure your voice is heard. If you just want to add anything to that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, again, you know, our, our voices right now are our black T-shirts. You know, you see a lot of um, teams in WNBA wearing it. Because, you know, we, we can't be out there in public. You know, we have priorities with our team. So, you know, us wearing our, our shirts is just showing that, you know, we're advocating for the change in the system. You know, we're, we're advocating for Black Lives Matter and, and just, um, just more peace.